Right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have come back early. We were going to do uh we're gonna do a different episodes today. So we got the first leg of the EFL Cup and we have got Real Madrid. Um since the last time I saw you, which was for the Chelsea game, we've been on an alright run. Let's go and have a look, shall we, of what we've been doing. So, as you can see here, since the 1-0 loss against Chelsea, we beat Aston Villa 3-1. We lost to Brentford 2-0, rightly so. Uh, beat Leicester 3-0, comfortable. 0-0, tried to change tactics, didn't work. And then the 85th minute winner against Manchester City in there as well. 4-2, uh, we were 2-0 down coming out of the second half. And Jal Neves, I changed the system on the 50th minute um, to a 4-2-3-1. <laughs> Excuse me, a four-two-three-one, and he gets a hat trick in nine minutes, and then Bobby also picked up a goal. So four goals in ten minutes, um, absolutely demolished them with the change of tactics, and it worked perfectly. Um, and then Leicester in the um, and then Man City in the FA Cup uh, third round, we beat them two-one. We have had a departure, uh, a departure I didn't want to have. But he has now gone as of now. Uh, I am getting a replacement in. I'm trying to see if he's... No. So, the 94th minute winner, Oscar Parera, the guy that has played over 150 league games for us, has gone to Bayern Munich. Uh, it tallies to around about £69 million. Pounds. £50 million up front. Uh, I, I don't know whether I could show you the offer that they did. Um, clauses, I don't know. If Oscar Pereira is, um, is going to be on here. I, here. So it was um, will be 70, 7 million if he gets over 20 league appearances. Another 3.5 million after um, 20 international appearances. I will get another seven million if he gets twenty league goals, and and twenty percent of the profit will um of the sale that they get will go to me. Uh, also, read in our O two instalments of uh, in January twenty thirty, so next year will be fourteen point five million, and the year after that will be fourteen point five eight, the same as the year before. So overall, it was around about sixty million plus pounds for him. And I couldn't re not refuse it. We signed the guy for, I think it was a million, if I'm right. 1.3 million we signed him for. Uh, and he's gone on. That season in the championship was ridiculous that he did. One of the stalemates. And then did it in the league as well. And then sort of become a bit part player um, off the bench and doing stuff. He played quite a few games this season as well. But when you get money like that, and I want Oscar Pereira to go out and do well, we've sold him, and we are getting someone in. The player that's coming in, he is just one. Oh, no, that's not him. Uh, in Him. Henrik Bess Hassan. Uh, getting him from Mainz for £31.5 million, so a little bit down. Striker can also play on wing, which we will be training him to do. He is right-footed. Uh, very well he's both footed so we're going to train him to play on the wing as well so just as a cover for Oscar Pereira as well but Brian Bobby can also play on the wing as well we've also got Ivan uh, but he has just recently won the European Golden Boy um, and he is an absolute talent someone who can easily get into this team if he wanted to um, I think he's been no, he's been with FC Copenhagen, uh, and then moved to them last season for ten million, and then he just won the Golden Boy. So I saw it, and I want that in our team. So as you can see here, we've been doing quite well. Um, the reason why we come back early is we want to go to Wembley. Okay, that is the aim, and that's where we want to be. 
Um, and with this, we've we've already guaranteed playoffs um, for the Champions League as well. So a win over Real Madrid would do us very well. We are top of the Premier League with um, one point uh, by one point, and we have a game in hand. Uh, the game against Brentford really fucked us, and the nil-nil against Wolves as well. But at the same time, we're still a point ahead with a game in hand. And now we've got an opportunity now to go for a cup. We're still in the FA Cup, still in the Carabao Cup, still in the Champions League, and we're still going for the Premier League. Um, so we're going to be making some changes for this game. Um, John Nevers is going to come in. Elise is going to have to come out. Um, just making sure we freshen up just a little bit for those players who are getting a bit tired. Jackson's been out with a bit of an injury, so he's going to come straight back in to gain a little bit more match fitness while Bobby's not there yet. But Ivan is going to be taking his place for the time being. Uh, Joel Valesio is going to go on the bench as well um, to grab a little bit. Ivan Drago is coming into the team. He's done exceptionally well since he's come in. Um, he played against Manchester City when um, Joel Valesio got injured and he was one of the star players in that game and played very, very well. But we're going to play against Leicester. Leicester have been the sort of bogey team for us where we've beaten them, but then we will get beat by them, especially in the last game of the season last year where we lost, I think it was 3-1 or 3-2, I can't remember. Um, but this is going to be a very big game for us. Um, and for a Saturday, play Carabao Cup and the Champions League. Can't get wrong with that. And on the Monday's episode, it will be... Uh, who is it? The Inter Milan and another Leicester game for the Carabao Cup. So it's going to be hard games. Harvey Barnes still plays for them. So... But yeah, getting that that European um, golden boy into this team with quite a few other young players going forward, we're setting ourselves up here to be a good team. Hopefully he'll come in. Hopefully nothing bad happens so he can't come in. Um, so let's just hope we're able to do that. We've started off well. We need to win this first leg at home. Um Second legs always worry the shit out of me, um, as we know by the well the PSG game when we were away to start off with I was alright with it, it, just by one goal and coming back to win it in extra time was still by far the greatest episode I've ever done and here comes Jong and Z tries to get in there but doesn't do anything of it but yeah Antonio Conte's Leicester City are up for it today. So it's all about now us trying to get that next step. Our next step has to be trophies. Um, we have to bring trophies to this club. Um, sell out crowd again. I, I've tried to look to see if we can upgrade the stadium. We can't. I think you have to give it a year from completion till you do anything. But I'm hoping uh, the end of the season, if, if we're still going... Um, to upgrade it more just make him a bit happy right second half here we go Cersei Omos was there back post and I think he might have been offside all of our attacks are coming down the left their attacks are going down the middle by the look of that if I'm reading that right so not much is going on. They're now kicking out from the back. 56th minute. Gomez out wide to Walters. And Ryan intercepts it really well. Really good player. Over the top. Doesn't get there. I'm really sad I sold Oscar Pereira. But if Nicholas Jackson is in 18th goal of the season. Makes it 1-0 in the 56th minute in the Caribou Cup. Exactly what we need. But yeah, selling Oscar Pereira stings me a bit. I really don't want to play against Bayern Munich and he plays and he scored. It is literally written in the stars for him to play against us and to win it against us in some capacity. Right, 60th minute. Ryan is not having a good game. 
So Blessio can go and play there. Actually, no. Solly Marsh can actually play in a position he likes. Casemiro can come on, bring that more experience in. Kelvin, the goat, can come on as well. Drago's not having a great game, so we're going to bring Valencia on for Drago. Four changes. We will that will do, Donkey. That will do. Right, twenty minutes left. It's not going to be very comfortable for the second leg. I can say that, but we've been good. Oh, I did it well there, but we've been a good team this year. I'm very proud of everything that's going on. I didn't think we would be this good. I thought we would be doing what we've done before in recent years, very up and down. Um, very up and down, not really... <coughs> Not really consistent in what we do, but I'm all right. The only thing that worries me um, is I always try and future proof. So if things great run by Solly Marsh, Casemiro does well to find Kelvin back post the Jackson. Could that be two 0 I don't know if that run was a bit late. Oh, it's great timing of that run. But yeah, future-proof this club. So, like with Casemiro, he's not a player I would go for at all because if Nick does go, then I have a replacement who I feel like will take it further in the future. With Casemiro, it is someone who will do for now. Um, and that's not against Casemiro. That's just the age and but his experience will bring something a little bit different to us. But 2-0 after the first leg. We do have a game in hand. I don't know when that game in hand is. But we do have one to start off with. We're now going to go and travel to Brentford. But you won't see that. We're now going to skip to Real Madrid. At the Santiago Bernabeu. We've done well again before. Let's hopefully we can do it again. See you guys there. Hello, welcome back. We've just played Brentford. And beat them 2-1. Comfortable-ish game. And again, another sellout at the Select Car Leasing Stadium. I do want to know if I am right with the year that you have to wait. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get into Real Madrid. Hala Madrid. They are 20th in the standings. We beat them, obviously, last year in the semi-finals of the Champions League, demolishing them at the Select Car Leasing Stadium. I think it was the draw, the first, or we just beat them. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really remember. It'll tell me. I don't know. It probably won't. But Thiago... Thiago, Courtois, Ben White, Declan Rice, Goodaval. We've got some fucking great players. No Endrick, no Aussie men. Oh yeah, Smith Rowe has just signed for them as well. Because why not? Diego Jota, Leal, Joseph White. Rice playing centre back. Alright. I would love to have Declan Rice in my team. But we just know it's never going to happen unless I pay a ridiculous amount of money for it. Right. Here we go. Eder Militao, Valverde, Benjamin White tries to cross it, but Valverde's got it back, cross it into Rafael Leal, and Connor Boyce Clark with Mr. Safe Hands is able to do it. Big long ball up the top to Nicholas Jackson. Here comes Paul Wanner. Back to Jackson. 1-0. Six minutes. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get a goal that quick. But the ball from Conor Boys clark And the touch by Nicholas Jackson. To pass it off to Wanner. And then closes it into... Oh, just... Sensational. 
one nil. Seven minutes gone, which means we should go up unless there we are. And Real Madrid are have to play in a playoff with Bayern Munich, Manchester City, Borussia Dortmund. Damn, I tell you what, those play up, those playoffs are getting a bit spicy in the Champions League. Long ball over the top again from Conor Boyce Clark to Jackson. That is twice Conor Boyce Clark has done that, and twice it has resulted in a goal for Jackson. This is his first proper assist. But lovely ball over the top. Defenders are out of position and all over the place. Last time Jackson was able to control it to set up the goal, to set up the person to set him up, and now he takes it. Are we really this good? Or am I getting a really massive sense of, like, a good shot there by Real Madrid? It's the crossbar. Or am I getting ahead of myself? Comments down below. Am I getting ahead of myself or are we really this good? Okay, that was needed to smash my ego. Needed. Fair enough. You can't see me. I am John Cena. Nets. Elise, Gio Valesio, Nazinho. Wana over the top. Courtois is able to get out of it quick. This is still a long highlight. When I say long, Sonic. And now try. Trying our tactic. Doesn't work though. Nazinho, Gio Valesio, Wana. Doesn't work. This is a really long highlight. That. Oh, oh, that was close. It is mental to think, right? In this save. At Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Manchester City all have to go in a playoff. Oh, you're odd. Right, Nick. Lovely ball to Jackson. Elise, great save by Courtois. It's keeping them in this game. I say that because I've just seen that we've had three shots on target. Four shots on target. It is weird to see a goalkeeper with a rating above seven with an assist. Very weird to see. Right, and Goy. Joe Valesio tries to go over the top, doesn't. Well, we're surrounding the referee, but I think he's on. Oh, all right. Good thing we have VAR, because I thought he was on. What? I'll take it. I'll take it. What we're doing now? Oh, I'm playing it out. Joe Valencia, Lise, lovely play between Jackson and him, but doesn't Leo get out? Leo tries to do something, but the right back's there. Wanna back to Nick. Nice recycling of the ball to keep possession. Does well with a lovely ball to Elise. Fucking Courtois, man. Fuck off. Ryan, what's he gonna do? Front post doesn't get it. He's got to, he's got a second take. Joe Valencia back to Ryan. No. No. Why is the highlight still going? This is a goal. Whoever this lands to, this is a goal. <laughs> okay. Why are we still going with the highlight? Okay. <sighs> it's cold as really hurting me. How are Barcelona just beating Trappersport? Anyway. Well done. It's mad to think, right, that our first Champions League campaign, we really struggled. We got through it, but we struggled because we had Barcelona and all of that. And now you move on a few years and how we've progressed and other teams have it. Fuck yeah, now. This is highlight central in this game. 
Manchester United are in there. Borussia Dortmund, Porto, Man City, West Ham are in the automatics with Bayern Munich have shot up now. Salzburg are getting there. Juventus. Jeez, it is. Anyone's to grab. We just need to hang on to this. I'm not confident at the moment. We need one more to make me feel comfortable. Or don't do stupid passes. A fucking beautiful pass, that is. Bit of a shit pass there by the left, but over the top to Nicholas Jackson. Cuts it back to Lee. Fuck me. Either the goalkeeper or the crossbar is not helping us today. Right, we're going to have to make some changes because I can see how dead some of these players are, right? Casemiro is going to come on. Play against his former club. Jao Neves is going to come on. Uh, Ivan Drago can come on. We, so basically, I have just realised I have just changed. Bobby can come on. The whole midfield. I think the only reason I'm doing that is stamina. Lovely ball. Now, oh, thank fuck. Please tell me he's not offside. I just want this goal. Sort of kill this game off. Oh, I've got a headache. Alright. That won't make me feel comfortable at all. And he was offside. I know I say he was, even though it's VAR, but still. Right. We are 15 minutes to the end. We've made four changes. Oh. doing well here so far I don't understand the noise unless it's the wind I have no clue because there is nothing moving anything so I do not know anymore right 10 minutes left five minutes left right who is Seriously dead. That needs to come off. Ivan's not had a great game, so let's bring him. Let's bring Kelvin on. Get some fresh legs so Liao can't get around the back. Or how have they got good? Morato still playing for them. One of ours. It used to be ours. Now theirs. See how are they not winning? West Ham and Bayern Munich are gonna have to go in the playoff. That is mental. And Manchester City. Well, we beat Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. That is special to win at the Bernabeu. That is not. That is something you should not take lightly. I tell you that for, for anything. So Bayern Munich, West Ham, Nice, Dortmund, City, Rennes, Napoli, Leverkusen, Sociedad, Inter, Barca, Celtic, Real Madrid. I've got a hair in my mouth. Uh, Juventus, Salzburg, all gonna have to go in it. Well, I think these lot go in the Europa League or Europa Conference playoff. I'm not sure because we've never been there and we don't need to be there. So, that has been it. That has been the end of this episode. Thank you guys ever so much for joining me today. Next episode is going to be Inter Milan and the second of the final leg to see if we're going to Wembley for the Carabao Cup final. So, with that, thank you guys ever so much for joining me today. You guys have been amazing. I do apologise about the cold. But it will be gone. Nick special recordings. With love with Ken, my name's been Mark. You guys, man. Peace. Fucking hate me.